What's going on guys? If you aren't aware of the crazy amount of discounts that we have right now, I'm gonna go over them really quickly. If you have some extra money lying around and wanna blow it on some fun vehicles to use in public lobbies or with friends, this is the time to do it. And don't worry, there are some discounts that are actually useful for making money and some that I would recommend taking advantage of ASAP if you don't already have some of these. So let's give them a look. First discount, which I'll throw into the useful category, is 25% off all salvage yard properties as well as all upgrades and modifications. This is one of those that if you don't already have the salvage yard business, now is absolutely the time to buy it because it's not gonna get much cheaper than this. And trust me, I'm well aware that even with these discounts, it's still an expensive property. We're only gonna look at the ones in the city because the northern ones aren't worth it, regardless of price. It's much better for both robberies and towing to have one of these three here. I currently have the strawberry location, but you can find reasons to grab any of these. If you buy this week, the total cost with all upgrades could cost you roughly four to four and a half million, depending on which upgrades and mods you choose. But if you use this business to its potential, it'll be an investment that's well worth it, especially at this discounted rate. Obviously, the robberies pay well, but you can also make money towing, and even better, you can earn passive income, much like you do with the nightclub. Moving on to another discount that I think is well worth it if you're into cool cars that are also weaponized and can be upgraded at HSW is 30% off the weaponized Ignis. This is hands down one of my favorite cars in the game, mostly because you can make it look sick, but also because it's HSW eligible, which means it can become incredibly fast and it has the added benefit of having a pretty powerful gun attached to the roof. So if you have the money, I say buy it. Now we're going to get into the ones that I would say can be more fun, but are also completely unnecessary, which, let's be honest, is part of what makes them fun to use, especially with friends and in public lobbies. At 40%, we have the B-11 Strike Force. Now, I don't have this plane, but I do know it's currently at a good value, so if you've been thinking about getting it, it's a good time to make a move. Also 40% off is the HVY APC. This is one that I've always said I wanted to have just to mess around with, and since it was on such a discount, I had to get it. My friends and I have been killed way too many times from groups inside of these things for me to not want to try it out for myself, so it was an easy buy this week. The HVY Chernobog is also on a 40% discount, and this is one I'd say you certainly don't need to have, but if you have the money and you think you can find a way to have some fun with it, I wouldn't blame you at all. I mean, I bought it just because it's on sale and I wanted to film my facility, but also I'll probably drive it around a few lobbies and see if anyone decides to start something with me for the fun of it. Our last 40% discount is the HVY Insurgent Pickup. By now you probably know that if you buy this, you're most likely trying to turn it into the pickup custom because otherwise it'll just stay as a Pegasus vehicle. To make it into a custom, you just have to take it to your MOC or your Avenger to customize it. This is also a fun vehicle to drive around with some friends since you can fit multiple people and someone can sit on the gun up top. Plus you can make this thing look pretty crazy if you want to. I can't remember the last time we had four vehicles discounted on Warstock, never mind being 40% off. So yeah, this is a wild week of discounts just for that alone. But we do have one more and that's 30% off of the Mammoth Patriot mil spec. It may not sound like much compared to the last few, but the mil spec isn't a Monitech vehicle, so you can add missile lock jammers or remote control capabilities. Okay, so while these last two things aren't discounts, I want to touch on them briefly. First, the podium vehicle this week is the HVY Night Shark, which is one of the best defensive vehicles in the game and is a great way to frustrate any griefers you may run into. If you don't already have one, I'd recommend doing whatever it takes to get it for free. And lastly is that if you haven't already gotten your Obey 8F Drafter, it's currently free on Legendary Motorsport for anyone that claimed the offer on the Rockstar website, so just a reminder about that. Anyway, if you have the money to spend, or if you're simply looking for ways to keep GTA Online enjoyable, this week has some discounts that offer both sound investments as well as some vehicles that can keep things interesting. I've probably spent 10 million since Thursday, but to be honest, I'm more than content since I'm not really sure what else I'd spend it on, and there's always ways to make it back and then some. Hope you enjoy blowing millions and going into denial, pretending you'll actually get use out of these vehicles. Skull.